before the impeachment trial of Donald Trump, uh, reports had been coming out saying that the president wasn't happy with it. Obviously nobody would be happy to be in that situation. So that's kind of an obvious one, but you know, he was laying low in Mar-a-Lago. He wasn't doing interviews. Obviously dude's been kicked off of social media, so we can't say anything there. So it'd been relative radio silence from the former president, but now that he has gotten his second acquittal, reports now say that the president is planning a grand reemergence. And in the coming days and weeks, he is lining up interviews. He is prepared to go out there and talk. He is going to tell his story. And one thing we can pretty much guarantee is going to happen is he is absolutely going to lose it on some of the Republicans, all of the Republicans really who uh, either voted in the house to impeach him or voted in the Senate to convict him. But either way, this is the Trump resurgence tour 2021. And I can't think of anything better for the Republican party than putting this idiot's face, putting his idiotic words back out there. Since the election, Donald Trump's approval rating has tanked the approval rating of the Republican party itself has tanked tens of thousands of people leaving the party. People hate Republicans right now. Majority of Americans, as, as we discussed earlier today, furious about the outcome of the trial. And here Trump is saying, well, I'm coming back out folks. I guarantee you had this guy not been kicked off Twitter and Facebook, his approval rating would be even lower today than that, than it actually is, which is currently in the low to mid thirties. He would probably be in the twenties if people were still subjected to his idiotic statements several times a day, but because they are not, some folks have actually been able to move on a little bit, but what he is about to do, assuming people still want to have interviews with him and get him on their shows, which I imagine he's a former president. Everybody would like that. And it's only going to serve to not rehab his image, but instead remind people of how horrible he was or is because he's not going to come out there and make amends. He's not going to come out there and say, yeah, listen, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't stand by any of those, the guy with the big horns. I don't like him. Horns are stupid. Nobody wears horns anymore. Yeah. It's not going to be that it's going to be these Republicans treated me horribly. Uh, I hate them. I hope they step on a nail. It's going to be something stupid like that. And the public's going to look at it and be like, yeah, wow. I had forgotten. Do you remember this guy? Wow. Wow. He's bad. What a jackass. And the Republican party is going to dig themselves into an even deeper hole because let's not forget. They're the ones who looked at everything he did and said, yep, we're okay with it. Even though it's, it's burning our party down over here, we give him more matches, which is exactly what you're doing. This guy burned it all down and now you've gone ahead and soaked it in more gasoline for him. And you said, here are your matches, sir. Please do whatever you want. And by God, he is about to.